The worst president ever. Let's 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 turn to the to politics of the day for a moment. Thomas Sowell on Donald Trump, quote, what is remarkable is that after six years of repeated disasters under a glib egomaniac in the White House, so many potential voters are turning to another glib egomaniac to be his successor, close quote. Glib egomaniac. Brother, how you calling that going Barack Obama a glib egomaniac? Do y'all think he was a glib e egomaniac? I look at President Barack Obama as a hero to the black community. Not for what he did, but for what he represented. Sometimes that's necessary because what we usually look at as heroes, when we look up to him, it, it does bad things to the community. You know, like the rappers, the hustlers, the people that's getting money, the people that's getting up out the hood. Those are the ones that most of the youngins look up to. But they had to do some, some things in order to get that stature. And then the youngins try to do the same things, trying to be like those people they, they look up to. And end up in a place that their mamas don't want them to be. But although President Barack Obama's policy, and again, guys, I am not into politics well i i'm far more into politics now than i've ever been but that's just for the sake of learning communicating to you my point of view and learning yours as well but i will say that although president barack obama's policy did not do what a lot of people wanted it to do uh, wanted him to do the visual of the black man with his black family being in the White House changed a lot of young black people's minds and hearts into letting them believe that they can do whatever they wanted to do. I hope y'all understand that part. He probably was not that great, but as far as policy. Turning to another glib egomaniac to be his successor, close quote. Oh, come on. Aren't you being a little hard on both Barack Obama and Donald Trump? No, I, th I thought I was pulling my punches. <laughs> uh, I thought I was pulling Donald my Trump punches. Donald Trump is simply not suited to be president? I think that that's true as an understatement. <laughs> All right. Barack Nor Obama. is the current president. I was going to say Barack Obama is the president. Yes. Glib egomaniac. How bad has he been? Who, where does Barack Obama rank in your mind, you who know so much history, among the worst American presidents? I really don't know if I want to hear this, bro. <laughs> right, take your medicine, Van. Take your medicine. It's time to take your medicine, bro. Be a man. Because they fussing at you right now in the comment section, thinking that you don't, that you feel some type of way that they probably don't even understand the way you really feel. But they're, they're, they're saying some things right now to you in the comments. And I'm okay with that. I'm just here to learn. Not quite ready for this yet because I'm looking at the title. The title says worst president ever. So he's about to give me a whole litany of things that President Barack Obama has not done properly. So let's do it. You who know so much history. Rip the Band-Aid off. The worst American presidents. He has displaced Jimmy Carter from that position. The worst. The worst. Worse than James Buchanan. Yes. Worse than Richard Nixon. Yes. All right. Richard Nixon did not, after all, put us in danger of, of nuclear attacks, probably within the lifetime of people living today. The Iran deal will do that? Yes. All right. we're, we're, we're committed to stopping the Israelis from stopping the Iranians from getting a nuclear weapon. That's part of the deal. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. I wish I had some points of my own so I can rebut that, but I guess I got to sit here and learn and then go back later and get some information, but okay. When I interviewed George Gilder about six or seven months ago, George Gilder known to both of us, he contended that with the right policies, the economy coming back to the international scene in a moment, but the economy would actually turn around quite quickly. 
the American economy can be revived quite quickly, cut taxes, peel back regulation, and you'd see another version of the early 1980s. Mm -hmm. You agree? Yes. All we have to do is get out of the way in a certain sense. Yes, I mean, uh, uh, there was, there was a, when, when Warren Harding took office in 1921, the uh, unemployment rate was around 12%. Warren Harding did absolutely nothing. As the, as the uh, government's revenue fell because of the, uh, of the, the uh, downturn, he cut government spending. Now, but now both those things are things that the, drive the Keynesians crazy. Right. The following year, unemployment had fallen to about half that level. Within a year. Yes. And then a year after that, it fell yet again. Uh, you know, there is a hit. When you cut government spending, that's why. And President Barack Obama did not cut government spending. As a matter of fact, he increased it a lot. People got money. People got free phones. People got universal health care. People got other things. He was giving things to people. And it was costing it was costing the government money. Putting us deeper and deeper in debt. Crap. All right. Take your medicine, Van. And then a year after that, it fell yet again. Uh, you know, there is a history. Uh, it, it, the first time the federal government intervened in the economy to get us out of a, of a uh, downturn was in 1930. Now, which means that for more than 150 years, the federal government just stood by and twiddled their thumbs while the economy recovered on its own. And all that time, there was never a depression as bad as the 1930s depression, where there was all kinds of, of intervention beginning with Herbert Hoover helping help us, uh, and then amplified by Franklin D. Roosevelt. So in terms of you looking at the, what happened as a matter of fact, uh, again, there was, no, there was no Federal Reserve prior to 1914. Uh, the, the Federal Reserve was created in order to, one, cut back, cut back on bank failures, uh, reduce uh, inflation, and prevent deflation. All of those things reached historic highs never seen before under the Federal Reserve. So uh, the, 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 the idea was wonderful. It's only the reality that didn't cooperate. So there you have it. He just looking at the, he's looking at the economy specifically. And the economy was in a bad situation because the federal government wanted to help, 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 help. They wanted to spend more money and get everybody squared away rather than allowing those tough times to be allowing certain businesses and banks to go under or car dealerships, car manufacturers to go under and just let the economy correct itself. And in my end, he's saying that things might, they might not have gone under because the economy usually corrects itself. Just looking at the numbers and numbers don't lie. That's what he's saying. I mean, it just, it still feels some type of way when somebody and yeah, it's only because he's black. It's only because President Barack Obama is black that I I feel some type of way about this. Because again, I don't follow politics. But this man achieved the highest office in the world. That's the highest office in the world to me. That's how I look at that office. And he tried to help too many people and got screwed. And they're saying that he tried to help people because of his ego. So, don't know, man. I want to hear what y'all got to say per usual in the comments below. And if you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I am Van, and now we are all the LFR family. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video and hopefully inside the Patreon as well. You all have been amazing. Love y'all.